Hey guys, uh, I want to talk to you today about this uh, 13 mil from Edward Rope. Uh, this is Direction Up. Um, this is a great alternative line to your uh, summer climbing, set and presets, and uh, just keeping yourself in shape with uh, you know climbing every day. Um, it's a bit uh, thicker diameter than the uh, Predator, what we're usually used to, 11.4. This is 13 mil. This is a true half inch. Um, really nice stuff. Uh, excellent rope for DRT. Um, SRT is probably a little heavy, the diameter. Most of your gree grees and stuff like that are going to be in that 10.5 to 11, maybe even 11.5. Um, that millimeter, that's the range, probably from 8.5 to 10.5. Yeah, I, th I think the gree gree, if I'm not mistaken, I think the gree gree is 9 to 11. 9 to 11, yeah. yeah. So this is going to be a bit heavy that's as far as heavy. going through any of your mechanicals. Um, this is more of a DRT rope, um, very, very uh, subtle rope, good in the hand. Uh, you know, you're, we're not getting that bite like you would with a smaller diameter rope when you're pulling yourself up a tree doing DRT. Um, yeah, I tell you what, I really like it. And uh, you can't beat these splices either. Um, they do these in-house. These are factory splices. And, uh, yeah, Westbur will do these when you go to order your rope. If you want to put a, a splice in the end of your rope, right? They'll do that for you. Yeah, it's called an Iron Street splice. You know, and then they got a, a plastic coating on it, protective. And it's just a real nice termination. You know, it's you not you don't have a knot here. Um, we did the same thing on. Uh, it's another thing too. Don't forget, you can order. Order your split tails or your eye to eyes, uh, Prusik cords. Uh, Westbur now is making all of this up now and, and uh, making them up in camo now. Um, they've always made them in the past, but now they're doing it in the Predator rope as well. Scott, too. What, what is a split tail and why would you want to use it? Well, I'll tell you what. Split tail is nice for a couple of reasons. Uh, I know a lot of times we'll get guys. You know, especially some of the new guys too that are, tr are learning this Blake's hitch or any other hitch that you may use. The nice thing about a split tail is that you don't have to keep tying it. Um, you can just leave that, you can leave it right in the rope. You can roll your rope right up, you know, pull your rope out out of the tree and just leave it right on your line. Um, yeah. You're already ready to go. Your, your Blake's tied, it stays there. So all you really got to do is once you come down, And that's where I was talking about this, uh, this factory uh, splice too, which is nice. You just clip right in, and you're ready to go. Yeah. All right. That's one nice thing about it. Yeah, there's another way. There's another thing that's really nice about it, but uh, it, it pertains more to us, to us tree guys. Um, and the really nice. The reason, the whole reason, a split tail was designed for. Um, you would run a double carabiner on it. Um, when you were going up a tree and if you had a limb in the way you could just tether yourself off throw your lanyard around the tree and then you would unclip your carabiner go around that uh, limb or anything that was in the way of, of your direct line up the tree clip back in and keep going yeah other than that you would have to untie your knot you'd have to retie it up in the around tree and then retie again right. so that was the nice thing about a split tail yeah um, i used split tail a lot when i was uh, doing tree work which is like I said, it was just that much faster, easier. Um, of course, that's nothing that we're going to do as hunters. We're not going to run multiple carabiners. It's too much noise. Um, but in this application, though, it's really nice. Like I said, if you if you don't, if you're having a problem where you get to your tree in the dark and maybe you're having a problem tying your knot or, or making, you know, maybe you tied it and then you're kind of questioning if you tied it right, you know, you can tie your knot, you know, and just leave it there, leave it on the line. Yeah, you know you know what I think is a benefit to that? Is that sometimes when you tie your knot, you get that perfect length away from you where it's either too far or too right, short. Right, you right, You get it just right, right. when you, you practice it. You might do that it. in the dark where it's, you're right, it's not perfect. You know, right. it's either, like you say, it's too short and you're not getting a good throw, or it's too, too long. Too and you can't reach it. So right, now you can do that, you know, in, get, in your backyard or, yep. or wherever in daylight and get it to that right length and then just, like I said, you can just leave it on your line. And then you would just pull your rope out like you, like you would normally do. You know? yeah. Leave it on there. 
and then all you do is clip in. You don't have to tie the right. knot when you get to the base right of the tree. And on, on this setup, kind of split. Oh, the other thing too with a split tail, a split tail will kind of preserve the life of your rope, right? Or at least the ends of it, where you're because the working end, because your Blake's hitch. Right. Let's well, say it, that beats up. From right. Heat. You don't have to. Right. You, what we normally would do is, right. We would come down, and we would take, you know, whatever, five, six feet of rope, right? We tie our, we tie our termination knot, and then we would have our tail end, and make our hitch. Right, and over time that hitch is gonna it's gonna wear from heat and, and debris and this and that and everything else from the friction. And what you're doing now, you're saving that five six feet of rope because normally that five six feet if over time would be no good. And a lot of times what we do, we would just cut it off, burn that end, and then another five six feet right. of rope. And then within two three years, right. you're not gonna have seventy five feet anymore. Right. Now you're taking a five foot. Um, split tail you can just buy these for I think they're about 30 bucks something like that yeah I think they're just under 30 bucks right yep you can buy these uh, from Westbur and you can buy a couple of them and then just keep them in your pack or, or whatever store them and wherever you store your hunting gear and you probably go through maybe I would, I would imagine one one of these a year yep. if that you know depending on of course and that's how many probably climbs. if you that's if you climb a lot and you probably for the guys that Rambo out of a tree and really burn them up you know right, that's exactly. that's what, and then things. what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to you're going to burn your blakes um and then this five feet of cord you would just replace throw it. out and replace you know? yeah cheaper than right than we try cut to into your main everything line. slow though because the thing is we don't want to damage our rope and we don't you know we try not to, to damage anything yeah you know, we, that's the thing we want to, we want to keep climbing on these things as long as we can yeah. My my DRT my Predator climbing line is about it's three seasons old, and mine's like new because this I, year it'll be three seasons. Yeah, yeah, it's I I both of ours and we climb a lot. Yeah, and you know we probably climb more than right. most people will. Right. And, and ours, I mean, like I can I, I can ruin a rope on one descent. That's right. I mean I can destroy it. Yeah. You know, I come down out of a tree a hundred miles an hour. That, that it's that's gone. a lot it's of cooked. heat. Yep. It's cooked. Yeah. You know? But there's no reason to do that. Yeah. What'll happen is if you. All that friction and the heat, when you do it really fast, um, it can actually, you'll, you'll notice it'll actually glaze the line. It'll melt the fibers. Melt the fibers on sure. it. Sure. I mean, the, some of the, you, can you can buy split tails, and they're actually rated for, for 900 degrees. Yeah. Because that's how much heat you actually build up inside. You know, you might not build up 900 degrees, but... But you could. But it's hot. Yeah, yeah. It's hot enough to where it's going to burn your hands, yeah. you know, so... Yep. You know, there's a lot, a lot of heat inside that knot, you know, when you're, when you're coming down as, as fast as you can go, you know, you really, you builds up quick too. Right. But there is, there's stuff that you can, uh, split tails, I believe, um, I don't know the actual company, but I believe they're called ice. Um, and then, yeah, they are rated to like 900 degrees. So that they won't burn. So that they won't burn. They, yeah, they're like fibers, heat, heat the resistant fibers, fibers. Right. They yep. deteriorate at a much higher melting point if you yeah we will. we did see i remember we had uh one guy in particular took pictures and sent put them on our channel and you know he, he kind of ramboed out of a tree and he put a burn streak right in his oh, rope yeah. you know so we told him we like yeah you gotta gotta kind of slow down and yeah. and you know with this stuff especially if you're new do everything slow you yeah know? i mean you don't there's no there's no that's fast is dangerous and i mean you know it is fun <laughs> it is fun but <laughs> you know Everybody, I guess after a while, you get used to this, you know, and you, you get a little bit of Army Ranger in you, you know, and you want to come <laughs> out of a tree, like friggin' SWAT, you know, or whatever, but but that's the downfall to it is that you're going to destroy your equipment, yeah. you know. You might be able to do that more, like with the SRT gear, with a gree-gree, you kind of come down, and it's the metal of it is designed... Yeah, that to cam dissipate in there, the heat, right. yeah. Yeah. you can you and can it's definitely go faster. cam, and it dissipates heat yeah. a heck of a lot more than than a than a rope friction. Yeah, it's not it's not really the same thing. Right. But yeah. All right, guys. So uh, hopefully you uh, you like these tips. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. We'll do our best to answer them. All right. Have a good day, guys.